So in today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to keep both lines always on on a dual SIM Samsung Galaxy S23. Now the default setting has always been that if you're using one of the SIM cards in an active phone call, then the other one becomes unreachable. And so when tr someone tries to call you on the other SIM card, when you're using one of them, then it's going to tell them that you're actually unreachable, even though you're just on another call, okay? So there's a feature in this new Samsung Galaxy S23 phones that allows you to keep both SIM cards or both lines in a dual SIM Samsung phone on at the same time, always. So go into settings and then go to connections and then go to SIM manager. Now here, as you can see, I have uh, these two lines active. And so if I'm actively talking on one line, let's say I'm actively in a call on the work line, this one will become unreachable. And if I'm using this one in an active phone call, then this one becomes unreachable. Now there's a feature that makes uh, both lines available. And the way it does this is, first of all, it enables call waiting on both SIM cards. And once you enable both, uh, once it enables call waiting on both SIM cards, it also makes automatic forward of phone calls when one of the SIM cards is unreachable. So let's say you're in an active call on the work SIM card. If someone tries to call you on this SIM card, instead of telling them that you're actually unreachable, it will detect that you're unreachable and then forward those calls to this SIM card. But since you're already in a call on this SIM card, it's going to activate call waiting. And so you can actually see that someone else is trying to call you on this one and it's a forwarded call even though you're in another phone call because call waiting is enabled. Same goes for the other side. And that's what it does to keep both lines or both SIM cards active and on at the same time. I, I hope that was clear. So to access that feature, scroll down on the SIM manager page until you get to more SIM settings. Tap on that and then tap on dual SIM always on. And then before you activate it, first of all, make sure you enter the phone numbers. So tap on that and then make sure for both SIM cards, which is my SIM one, which I've renamed to work, uh, put in the phone number of your SIM one and put in the phone number of your SIM two or your other SIM card that's active. Now, once you do that, let me just go back. Uh, choose how to select how to forward calls, tap on that. So the default is forward calls to any available SIM card, which basically means what I've just explained that if one of the SIM cards is unavailable, all calls to that SIM card will be automatically forwarded to the other available SIM card. You can also choose to only forward calls from uh, work or SIM one to the other SIM card or from the other SIM card to one of the SIM cards, depending on how you want it. Once you do all that, then you can go back and turn this feature on. Now it's going to take some time to update those settings. And once it's done, it will give you a notification. So mine failed because for some reason, my work SIM card is unable to uh, be set for call forwarding, but call waiting has been enabled on my work SIM card, which is my SIM one. And on the other SIM card, call forwarding is enabled and also call waiting has been enabled. So I have a slight problem, which is which might be a carrier related problem, but for different carriers, this should work. So now, anytime one of the SIM cards is unreachable because I'm on a call on the other SIM card, it's going to automatically forward to the available SIM card. And that will keep your dual SIM SIM cards always on. So it's a brand new feature. It doesn't really work as well. Uh, and also you might have some limitations depending on what carrier you have on your SIM card. But that's basically how to keep the dual SIM feature and dual SIM cards always on. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below and good luck.